a shotgun's choke is a tapered restriction in the muzzle end of the bore of the shotgun. The amount of restriction translates into how dense or open the pattern or the group of pellets is as it moves downrange. There are five basic types of chokes, and going from the most open choke to the most constricted choke, you have the cylinder, the improved cylinder, the modified, the improved modified, and then the full. You also have what's known as extra full chokes and also turkey chokes. And turkey chokes are usually around the same constriction as an extra full, sometimes even a little more constricted. To identify chokes themselves, there is a notch system that is used by most choke manufacturers, but not all. Some of the manufacturers will write what choke it is on there or imprint it somehow. If it doesn't have it on there, they'll have a notch system. And there's basically one notch through five notches that'll be notched in the very upper end of the choke itself. And basically the least amount of notches means the more constricted the choke is. Five notches is the cylinder choke, four notches is the improved cylinder, three notches is the modified choke, two notches is the improved modified, and one notch is the full choke. And like I said before, the turkey chokes or the extra full chokes will usually be marked as such. Let's say you're going to shoot at a target that is 25 yards away. If you have a full choke installed on your shotgun, the shot pattern will have a diameter of 21 inches. But if you have a cylinder choke installed on your shotgun, the shot pattern will have a diameter of 40 inches. The type of choke you're going to use is going to depend on the kind of hunting that you're going to go be doing, or more specifically, probably the type of animal you're going to go chase after. So an improved cylinder or just a regular cylinder choke, um, a choke that's very open right out of the barrel, that's going to be used for close range stuff like a close flushing quail or a grouse. Um, something that you need to shoot at very quickly before it gets too far away. You need your spread to open up very quickly. On the far end of the spectrum, you have a extra full choke, which you would use for turkey hunting, which would constrict those pellets and keep those pellets nice and tight and in a small pattern all the way up to distances out to 40 and 50 yards where you're possibly going to be shooting at turkeys.